Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking to you on Tuesday at 2. I thought today would be kind of fun to in open up the July Paper Pumpkin, which is called The Adventure Begins. So I had looked at the um, the paperwork when it came, but I, I really haven't um, opened it up and done anything else. Hi, Cindy. Um, so I thought that would be fun to kind of look at. And then on Friday, I'll, I'll show you some alternatives. So um, I thought I would start playing. Plus, I started playing with um, soon, very soon. Um, as a um, customer, you'll be able to order from our new um, holiday catalog, the mini catalog. And so we, as a demonstrator, which is one of the benefits of being a demonstrator, you, have, um, you can purchase things early. So I've been playing with um, some of the Halloween things. There was, there's one Halloween set, and I'll show you. There's one Halloween set that has a crazy black cat. And since a crazy black cat lives here, it was a set that I knew I had to have. So I did um, made up two cards this morning using that set. So I'll show you that also. And the cute Halloween paper, it's called cute Halloween. I think that's what it's called. It's called, I'll tell you, cute Halloween DSP. <laughs> And it is totally cute. So I thought I would show you the a little sneak peek at that paper too. So I will go ahead and turn the camera around. Once I turn the camera around, I can't see your replies unless I stand up or you're, you're um, um, chatting. So please chat with me. Please share the video. Um, it will be on my blog. It's here on Facebook. And it will also be on YouTube. So no matter where you're watching, welcome. Thank you for joining me. No matter if it's uh, now or later, I appreciate um, I appreciate the view. <laughs> so um, let me know what you think. Let me know um, if there's something else you want to see. Chat with me. So I'm going to turn the camera around, and then we'll get started with the adventure begins. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. So here's a little ride. Close your eyes if this bothers you. When we tilt down here, try to get it straight. Always, always try to get it straight. Can't guarantee anything. <laughs> so here it is, um, the paper pumpkin for July. So I do have um, four more of these here at the house. If you can, if you can pick them up, they're twenty-two dollars a piece. And um, so I have four that I could sell. So here's the cute little set. So it has um, one, two, three, four, five different um, uh, verses, and then a tree, and let's see here, all kinds of stuff. So it says, uh, let your light shine, explore, congrats, I'm going all over the place. The world awaits you, let the adventure begin, da -da -da -da. and dream big, aim high, really nice. Okay, so that's the stamp set. It comes with a spot, so every one, every single paper pumpkin comes with a different spot. So this one comes with garden green. And then they give you a little warning shot about what's coming next month. So until um, August August 10th, I had, to do, I had to do the math in my head, you can um, subscribe uh, for the next paper pumpkin, which is called the Hope Box. So it is designed by Shelly and um, it has, it makes cards up and it also has all kinds of little extra things for you to decorate this beautiful ombre box that it comes in so that you can keep it as like a memory box. So kind of cool. Um, all of them last year, there was one with birds on that she helped, um, that she helped design and it was so pretty. One of the most popular ones, I think. Um, ever so there you go that's the upcoming one so let's open our little box ta -da, ta -da. they always come in the pretty Tiffany well this one is this pretty Tiffany color so here we go here's our kit I'm gonna move the box out of the way so oh boy see how cute is that the adventure begins so all of you campers out there um, people that are camping, wow, this would be the, a great set for you. I love that um, I can see the envelopes are really highly decorated, all set and ready to go. I'm going to cut this open here. 
Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Here we go. Okay. Just tear it open. Like Christmas. Just tear it open. Okay. So inside, here are the dimensionals and the glue dots. And there's some, of course, that I love, love, love. Sequins with no holes in them. Self-adhesive. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. Okay, so here are the envelopes. Very cute. They're all the same. Really cute envelopes. All decorated. And here we go. So here's, I'm just going to pull all this open here, pull all this stuff out. Here are the, oh, and see, it's a fun fold. Oh, my goodness sakes. Okay. So this is going to go like this. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four of those cards. So we'll do one of those. We'll do one of each of them. So there's four of these cards with the lantern in it. Super cute. And must be four of these. All of these are fun folds. So here we go. Here's one with the trees, and that's going to fold around, see that? That's what's going to show through here. Ta-da! All right, and here's the cute little camper. I love this. I love the camper. Love the camper. We camped when I was a kid, and we camped with, with my kids too, but we camped in a tent. But when I was a kid, we had a pop-up uh, camper. Not cool like this, but look at there super cute these are adorable okay so that's the three cards i'm going to just set them over here on top and then we'll get out uh let's see what else is in our little box so here are the uh, labels and they're all circles and uh, rectangles all ready to go you just punch them out here's some decorative elements little trees more trees and then here's cardboard for Julie. She saves these for projects. And here we go, directions. So this is something new where they have the directions in here. And look, oh, it's so beautiful. They're all in color. So it shows you exactly what to do. One, two, three. Wow, that's cool. So on this first flap, it shows you what you need for card number one, what you need to pull out for card number two, and for card number three, and then inside, one, two, three, it has all the directions. And then on the back side, again, it shows you everything that's included in the kit. And then it gives you some little extra um, things that you can do, different alternatives, which is what I'm going to do and show you on Friday. This will be fun. And then also, you can watch detailed instructions. You use this QR code on the back with your phone. And then it'll show you a video and show you exactly how they're made. If written instructions aren't your, your thing, um, you can watch a video. So cool. So we're going to start out with card number one. I'm just going to fold this like this. And here's our card number one. So I know that I need, let's see here. That's my little camper, my little camper thing. So on here, I can look at this. So card number one, I need this stamp i'm going to pull that out so it has all the little plastic sheets here ta-da so i need this stamp this tree stamp that like gives definition to the trees it's little like slashes here there we go there's the tree stamp and then it's uh let the adventure begin so I will pull that, let the adventure begin. It's right here. Ta-da. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the block. Hopefully straight. <laughs> hopefully straight, I didn't say for sure. I just said hopefully. All right, so now I'm going to, instead of opening my spot, I'm gonna open up my garden green ink because that's what I'm gonna need for this one. All right, so there we go. I'm looking at this. It shows me everything that I need. So I need one of these little trees. And so you just, they're just 
could just punch it out. Little punch outs. There's the tree. So I'm looking at here, and we're going to put some of the um, sequins on. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here to the directions for number one. And here it is. So this is how it's going to go. We're going to punch this out here. This little piece gets punched out just like that. And the little camper stays on there. So that come, gets punched out. I would say to get a nice um, fold, I would use the bone folder just to kind of go over it and make that lay nice and flat. There we go. And I'm going to go on this side is flat. So it shines through. So cute. Okay, what do they want me to do? They want me to stamp with the garden green on my little tree that's right here. So here's my garden green. Oopsie daisy. I'm sticking it to everything. And you know, I have a thing about lining everything up. So there we go. I'm just lining it up with the with the dark stripe so I can see where I'm at because it's sort of like white on white. So okay, here's my little tree. I'm gonna stamp it with the garden green. Ta-da! So lovely lovely all right now so that's number one number two stamp the tree and then we're going to put the tree behind it's going to go on the back side of the little camper so the tree's going to go like this so you see it like like that it's got to go in so there we go, I guess that's what it is. Just like that, goes all the way down. Okay, down and in. So I have to glue that in there. So I am gonna use, I know they have little glue dots, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of my green glue because that's my favorite glue. That's the way I roll. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here and then a little bit on these ends because these are going to be stuck to the camper I think so and I'm just making sure that my tree doesn't stick out <laughs> past my card front because otherwise there we go like that and then I'm going to take one of my uh, tags here so the tag is going to go this way I'm going to put it Oh, I have something sticky already. That's impossible. <laughs> That's impossible. What did I do? There we go. Okay. I guess I do. Look at that. I have something sticky right away. I'm just going to erase it off of my paper so I keep it nice. All right. So here's my words. This is for my verse. I put those on here. And right here I'm following number three. And I'm going to say, let the adventure begin. Right in the center here. And so solid down, solid up, ta-da. There we go. And then that's going to go on with dimensionals right here. Right there. So I'm going to pull out my dimensionals here that I have out already. And put some on here. One, two, three. Should be plenty. So pull the backing off. Put this on. So cute. All right. There. Ta-da. Here we go. And then sequence. Yay, sequence. I love sequence. So they're using two of the yellow sequins and three blue, it tells me there. I'm not sure where they all are. Let's see. Let's see if I can see where they put them. I see the yellow. So I always use my pickup tool for these. So here's one of the yellow sequences down here. And then there's one up here. 
And I'm doing this one exactly as they show me. Where are the blue ones? Just exactly how they show me. So I'm going to look at the front here. Oh, all else fails, look at the front. Okay, so the front, I can see that they put the blue ones on the tree. Put some on the tree here. Here's one over here, just to kind of draw your, your eye, I think. And one over here. These blue ones are so pretty. And then, where's the other one? I think it's up over here. There we go. Okay. Ta-ta. Ta-da, ta-da. Here we go. So here's the first one. Let the adventure begin. So cute. And then the open. So you know what I'm going to do. Everybody knows that watches me. Know, you know what I'm going to do with mine when I show you the um, on Friday. This will be filled in. <laughs> because I have to put layers in. Have to, have to. But isn't that cute? Okay, that's card number one. Let's go to card number two. Card number two is right here. Oh, I love this. With the lantern. So I need this card. And I need the saying, let your light shine. And I need a circle. So here we go. Let your light shine. How fun is that? Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Put it on my block. Okay, so this is saying again, just to punch this out. So that's what I will do. Simple Simon. There, and then there's even little punch outs for the lantern here, so it's really 3D. Come on. And then all the way around here, I'm going to do this. A lot of times when I'm working with dies too, I kind of hold it down and I punch it through with my pickup tool. Oh, look at how cool that is. Very cool. Very cute. Adorable. Okay. So what do they want me to do? Oh, plus I need to have some little, there's a bug. <laughs> there's a bug here. There's a little uh, little butterfly or firefly, whatever it's supposed to be. There's two of them. So I'm just going to do the big one, I think. I'll put that on here. So I have my verse and I have my little, uh, see they have these two little areas. So that's what's going to go there. So first of all, it says to stamp my words on my circle. So here we go. Ta-da! And then I'm going to stamp my little bugs on here in the area that's highlighted. So cute! There we go. And let's see here. I'm not following. And then here we're going to put our words. They're going to go right here. And I'm going to put that on dimensionals. I believe that's what they would want me to do. Yeah, see, it even shows you where to put the dimensionals. That's so funny. Okay, one. So I'm just making sure it's going to be in this opening. So I'm holding my finger there knowing my dimensionals will go over on this side. Good memory. It's just super short. <laughs> so if I hold my finger there, I, I can't put a dimensional there. So there we go. Okay. And that's going to go right here. Let your light shine. There. Oh, here. I forgot. There's another bug. There's another little bug. Let's do the little one up here. There's another. There's two of these little, I don't know if they're supposed to be fireflies or what, but there's two of them. So I'm going to put the tiny little one up here. Ta-da. So you're stamping the verse. And the little fireflies. Super cute. And then we're going to put some of our sequins on. So they put three of the yellow and two blue. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. One, I'm not sure where they're, uh, two, I think there's one there, and three over on this side, there, and then there's two of the blue ones. So it looks like one is over here, one there. I have to look and see. <laughs> Where's the other one? I see one on the paper. Oh, I see. There's one down here. Okay. All right. Follow I'm following the directions. I'm following the directions. So here we go. Let your light shine. Super cute. Ta-da. Adorable. All right. Now we're going to go to three. Card number three, and that is this one here with the trees. And again, I'm gonna need uh, one of our, let's see here, what do I need? I need this piece, this piece right here. Oh, look at this, this is kind of cool. So that, that's that piece right there. And then I need just one of these Oh, and that's what you're going to stamp it on. You're going to stamp the words here. Dream big, aim high. Okay. Dream big, aim high. That's this one. So I have to get one of my blocks out over here. That's not going to Where's my H block? My favorite, favorite block. I have 18... Uh, setups going on for cards so I have uh, I have just some here for me to play with I have 18 buckets full and ready to go for tomorrow I'm so excited tomorrow's our first card buffet it is going to be totally fun okay so this is with the green again garden green so when you come to class tomorrow no waiting there will be no waiting because we have 18 different buckets. You can pick one. Uh, the class includes four cards. If you have more time and want to do more, you can purchase them individually. And this is gonna go here. And um, yeah, so it's pretty exciting. I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. Something new, something new for us here. So. I'm going to go ahead with my bone folder and just kind of push this down a little bit more here so I get a better fold. It stays down. This is going to go here, and this is going to go right here. Let's see here. It looks like it went about right there, kind of even. Even Steven there. It's even. I'm looking at it side to side here that looks right I'm gonna go up a little bit more like that there we go okay and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on dimensionals too because I think it would look cool so this part of the tree is going to oh wait I have to stamp something on here whoopsie daisy here they want me to stamp this tree too so I'm gonna stamp it with, this stamp is bigger than that tree, but I'm just gonna go like this, and go over the top. This gives the tree the details, the detail on the tree. Boy, that was a big mistake almost, oopsie daisy. Okay, let's put the dimensionals on here. And one, two, three, and then I'm gonna put one on, one, two, three, and one on the tree. There we go, ta-da. So let's put this on. This is going to be a fun one to play with. I can just tell. Ah, there's going to be, it's going to be fun. So this is going to go up here, kind of centered there. Oh, all right. And then they're asking for some more of our little uh, two yellows and three blues. So here we go. They always give you extra of these, uh, the sequence and stuff. So know that 
coming into the game that you're going to get extras of things. So it's kind of exciting. You'll always have enough supplies. There's one here. And there's one over here. And then there's another one somewhere at the top of the tree, I think. Yes, I believe so. One up here. There we go. Ta-da! Little sparkles when you open it, you can that catches your eye. And there we go. Super cute. So these are the paper pumpkin for July. Made up exactly as the instructions. So one, two, three. Let's see here. Let's go. Let's put them in order. One, two, three. Very cute. Oh boy. I'm going to have fun with these. So there's the paper pumpkin for July. If you're interested, I have four kits here. If you would like to pick them up, you can let me know. They're $22 a piece. So, and they make, there was, what did I say? Um, there are four of each of these cards. So 12 cards. That's a lot. It's a lot of cards. Super cute. All right, now I'll show you what I was working on this morning. So I'll put that aside, put that away. Let's close this up before I wear it. Garden green. Okay, so I was playing with um, Halloween cards today. <laughs> I started and I've done some Christmas cards for the buffet, but um, I thought my, my Halloween things came in and this one in particular had this great cat. And so it was like, I have to do, I have to get this one. So here's the set. It's called Clever Cats. And it's so cute because I thought you can use this for other things, not just Halloween, right? Because that is my little devil cat that runs around here all the time. And then it has the pumpkin and the, and the, cat, the, um, the hat. So totally cute. This will be in the new um, mini catalog. So this was the first one I did. So I have my cat riding the broom. And these are the um, detailed frames. They were in a, I think two years ago, they were in our holiday book and they have remained and they are now in the annual catalog. And so I just love them. They're called, I'll tell you what they're called. Um, maybe I won't. Um, yeah, you had to fussy cut the, you have to fussy cut the broom in this cat, but well worth it. <laughs> Here, here, I'll tell this is what they are. So this is what I'm stealing these from, ornate frames. So that was this one right here. It's a really cool set. But, so there's my little cat. And these cool stars. Can you see the little flat sequence stars that are self-adhesive? And then, because this piece was, um, the, this is six by six paper. So this piece is um, two inches by five inches. So I had that one inch piece and I put it inside here and I put the broom in there. So I stamped the broom, the broom is just adorable. So I stamped it in bumblebee and then I took cinnamon cider and just colored in the handle so it was solid. But I love the spider on here and the cool things. And then here's my other one. Hey, crazy cat, I, like, <laughs> I think it's fun. So the nice thing is that, so this does two step stamping where you're filling in the pumpkin, but it's not an exact fit. So you don't have to worry about like not having it just perfect, lined up just perfect. This is how it's meant to be. So this little cat is sticking out of the pumpkin. It comes just plain. Like you could put the hat on the pumpkin if you wanted or whatever. And here's the little cat that could come out. You could have the bats flying out. I mean, uh, uh, it's endless, right? And then this sparkly ribbon, I thought was really fun. Ta-da! And there I put the hat inside. So these were the two cards that I did this morning playing with the Clever Cats, which will be available August 2nd for y'all to buy. So if you need that, it's so much fun. It's going to be a cute set to have. So I'm going to show you this um, cute, it's called Cute Halloween Paper. And here we go. It is adorable. So it's six by six paper. This is what's coming in the, in the new catalog. So here's one side. And here's the back side. Boo, boo, boo. All the 
cute little, here's the one that I used on there with our cats and the pumpkins. And then here's the back side, a nice striped bold. And then this was fun. These are adorable. So here's the cats. Here's the bats hanging upside down. Well, here's some flying too, but I just think that is so, 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 so cute. I like it with the flirty flamingo background. And then this is the back of that one, kind of a spooky night. And here's a stripe, another stripe, and these crazy polka dots. So the back side are all black and white. Get that, see? <laughs> here's the little skulls with the birds. But these are cute skulls, they're not like scary. I don't like scary stuff, I just like cute stuff. And then here's the back side. I love this stripe. Here's the little houses. Bring in some old olive in there. Here's the back side of that. And I love that there's different sizes of the print. You know, I talk about that a lot. Little tiny prints, a little bit bigger, medium size. Here's the print that I used on the first card on this one. I thought that was kind of neat, just sort of soft. I was going to use this side and I ended up turning it around. So otherwise it would have been kind of busy, I thought. So I turned it around, but I thought this sort of looks like, like cat hair. <laughs> that's what it reminded me of. The hair that I vacuum up all over. So that's the cute. And then these are the adorable, um, and he, it even says cute stars, adhesive back sequence. So you have it in the pumpkin and the uh, purple tones and black the um, stars so this is a fun set it's going to be really fun we're going to you're going to see this in class if you're interested um, after august 2nd clever cats that's what it's called so there you go that's the beginning of the halloween cards i'm going to turn the camera around here we go turn it around all right Hello. All right, really cute. Can't wait to see. I know. The kit is, I think that the pump, paper pumpkin kit is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, there's, it's just screaming to be cut apart and, and played with and fussed with. So I'm looking forward to that. Hi, Marie. So thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Share the video if you like what you see. Um, if there's any questions, please write and let me know. Um, no matter where you're watching or when you're watching, you're welcome. Welcome here, and um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great day. Tomorrow I will be back on. Um, we have our big uh, buffet tomorrow, but in between the classes, I will have, we have a morning session, afternoon session, and in between, I'll be back with you for Winging It on Wednesday, and I'll play with one of the monkey cut kits. So, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you tomorrow, some of you in the morning, and some of you at 2 o'clock. Thank you. Bye-bye.